When you choose man and you build your life strictly on what some man is saying, not on the word of God, it's a snare unto death. I'm being honest with you, you know, I, I've had some friends, you know, was out there, wouldn't listen. Overdose. But it happened. A good friend of mine said, you need to stay in school, Rudy. Now I'm going back. Two days later, he was shot dead. But he wanted to get back to the man, the gang banging, and the other stuff that he wanted to do. You got to make the same choices. And look, but to the wise is the fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Some of us might be playing around with things we don't think that big a deal, but it, it's a snare. You understand what a snare is? It just secretly hooks you right on in there. I can drink a beer. I can shoot up one time. I can smoke crack. Hey, it don't work that way. Some folks you might think beat it, but you don't realize once that permeates the heart and that memory, and then it gets into a physical thing, unless when you get the favor of God, you're not going to kick it. How many of you know what I'm talking about? I know some folks, um, now, you see, because once you understand and begin to draw that parallel, then God can say in the 15th, good understanding, good Understanding, broom sense, common sense. What does it do? Give a favor. When you just take the simple things that you can understand from the word of God, hide them in your heart, chew on them, meditate on them, it will give you favor. You will know things that you haven't been trained to know. Because God made everything. And with favor, he can increase your knowledge far beyond that. Lord have mercy. I said, Lord have mercy. Turn with me so we can get an understanding. I think it's... Acts 7. That just hit me. 9 and 10. Let's get over there for a minute. I think it's about... I hope I'm... Acts... Did I say seven, nine, and ten? Okay. And it doesn't matter now because uh, this is about Joseph. This young man, he, he had a way of popping off. He was young. He made mistakes. But those same brothers were the patriarchs of many of the tribes of Israel would be named after them. Look at the ninth verse. And the patriarchs moved with envy. See, when you operate in man's what's going you're going to always have envy. What was the problem? Daddy, get, which I, I mean, I, I'll have to, if I get a chance to talk about it, but I say, you know, I'm going to ask him why you, but, but we understand uh, some people might say you have a favorite child, but we shouldn't, but it's an absolute fact we didn't. And those other brothers got envious of him because he had a coat of many colors. Some of us get into bad news because we are envying some people having stuff that we think we want. Now look what they do. And the patriarchs moved with envy. What did they do? They sold Joseph, sold him out into Egypt. But what did it say? But God was with him. The favor of the Lord. Now that's low down dirty what his half brothers did to him. Just dogged him out. Some of us might have the same thing happen to you. But if you have that good understanding, it gives us favor. Because eventually Joseph going down the line, going to tell him, hey boys, don't, don't worry, I ain't not doing nothing to you. You might have meant it for what? Evil, but God. Man for good. Somebody ought to shout this. That's what you mean by faith. No, this is not pretty. But let's see what God. But but see when when God's favor is upon you, look what happens. Lord, come get him. And look what. 
and delivered him out of all affliction. That's what God's favor. With all affliction. And what did he do, sir? And gave him favor. And what? Wisdom. In the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. You're not hearing what the Lord's saying. And he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. You need to study that. It's a beautiful, but not, that, that's favor. It's a young boy, youngest of all of them. A whole lot happened to the boy in prison, and he had to interpret it. But see, all of that is favor. I know when folks call me, they say, they but how, how did, I said, don't be talking about I know anything. I said, if God reveals it to me, I'll tell you exactly what he said. But don't you look at me. Because I, I'm, I'm no different than you, but what happens is when you get good understanding. Woo! Let's go back to that for just one more minute now. Let's go back. Did I finish that? Because I'm pretty happy. I got one more verse, don't I? Now see, this is what I mean. He 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 could have tripped out, but went, he was under bondage. Matter of fact, he got hit on. Part of his wife tried to get the boy to do some things that ain't right. It, that's just what? That's just life. But when she grabbed him, the boy whoo, left his coat. What does that mean? Some things you need to run from. Because she had the bed perfume and rose petals and all that and told him point blank, come lie with me. But he ran. Now, man might tell you don't do that. <laughs> you know, she broke it down. My husband, he ain't going to be out of town for a long time. So we think that's just new what you see on all these shows, Dallas and all this stuff you see on them, them. No, it's been going on since time began. But the one with good understanding, knowing if I do that, I got hell to pay. And I got to lie and cheat and do everything. But see, in the 16th verse it says, Proverbs 13, 16, every prudent man, woman, boy, or girl dealeth with knowledge. In other words, you know, we like to deal with other stuff. No, you deal with the word. Your understanding of the word will get you more ahead than any hip talk, what up, about anybody can say to you, because it's temporal. You're not going to last. You got to base your life as best you can on the word of God. But a fool, but a fool, God has given you a strong, that man who claimed he got it going on, and I'm, I'm it. You know how they do out there. But a fool layeth open his folly. Now you better grasp that very clearly. Because if you act like him, you lay it open your father. That makes you a target for the enemy. You made that choice. Don't need you beating up on God. That was your choice. Now let's go to Romans. Give me to get a few verses there and we'll be through for the day. Romans 8. We're going to spend a little time verse by verse. And I want you to begin to grasp these things. Because when you got the knowledge and, 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 and we know the law of... The law of the Lord is, is you find life. You get the fountain of life. There's some things you ought to know about now. Don't say, well, I don't, I can't understand like, like Minister Moore and Minister Barnes and Pastor Mike. They No, there's still stuff you ought to be fairly familiar with by now. Other than the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. There's nothing wrong with that. Many of us need to really commit to memory the 23rd Psalm. God bless you. Because it'll come back to you when you need it. Now let's look at the 22nd verse. We're going to start. For we know. Did you hear what it said? There's certain things you ought to know. That the whole creation groaneth and travail in pain together until now. In other words, we see that every day. 
That's why in Romans 1, the man is without excuse. Okay? We might have rain out there today, a few minutes of sunshine next, all kind of stuff pop up. We can't control that. See what I'm saying? And look at 23. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our bodies. Of our bodies. Now, we're talking about, that's sort of like the Hebraism. This body, you're going to put it down. But that, that, that you'll, you have two bodies. You have the fleshly body, and you, that's the spirit the body. is what he's talking about. For, this is so you know, for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. And y'all hear what the Lord is saying? For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? I wish every young lady and young man would grab that. You know, a young lady want to show a whole lot. No charge, y'all. I've been a professional photographer for a lot of, there's certain things you learn. A man is moved by his sight and his imagination. The more you show him, he ain't got no imagination. He ain't even seen it all. But see, what God told you to do as a young lady, dress in modest apparel. There's a reason for that because all that he put in you begins to come out in a way that is not whatever. But see, what we have to understand, that's just God's way of doing things. But well, if you see it, why should I hope? I know it's an old colloquial expression. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I want to just, I don't hope it don't offend anybody. Say, why buy the milk when you got the cow? So that's what they're talking about. Why should I eat? I don't have to come on because they're going to give me what I want anyway and vice versa. It don't just bad on it. It's all about, you must make that decision. Are you going to play the game of life? Or are you going to live through God's word and get eternal life? You got to make that choice. And that's what he's saying there. It, Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to move on a little faster. But if we hope for that we see not. Y'all don't hear nobody. Then do if we with patience wait for it. That's the one thing you can't get young folks, nobody. They want it now. That's why we got instant popcorn, instant this. They can't wait for nothing. And knowing their heart that the slow cook way is the best way. But I don't want to do that. It take too much time. So I buy them Big Macs and whatever and, and eat 5,000 calories and then say, whoa, child, I got to lose some weight. But you chose what the man put out there instead of eating good food. That's your choice. Now listen, listen. But likewise, listen now. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Meaning a fleshly mind and a spiritual mind cannot exist in the same place. They're contrary to each other. You can't walk around saying I'm a child of God and then next minute you call everybody but a child of God out of your mouth. Blessings and cursings cannot come out of the same mouth. As if he won't favor. For we know not what we should pray for as we are, but the Spirit itself make a intercession. Now, I don't think that we just talk about heavenly. Yes, God, the Lord Jesus is sitting in heavenly places. You read that in, about Stephen say he saw heaven open up and saw Jesus sitting on the power of God. But this intercession is when you get in difficulties down here. He intercedes for you. And that's where the rubber meets the road. Do you believe in that which he said he will intercede for you and you can't see it? Or this dude done told you, or this girl done told you, they're going to do this for you and you're going to get you over or get off. Which one are you going to deal with? Do you want the favor of God or the favor of man? 
Now, sometimes the favor of God, you ain't going to be able to see it in the natural. But he's still moving faith. I said, y'all don't hit nobody this month. But he's still moving faith. He's moving. You can't, I don't care what I might say. My, my, my intent might be good. But I'm limited. He don't sleep, no slumber. Somebody help me this morning. Now look, that, how we are. But the Spirit itself makes intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. In other words, it goes into that realm where God and you talk, and God is on the inside of it, even though you don't believe it. I know it was a little thing out when they say, when I, when I was just going good, I saw two footprints walking in the sand. Y'all heard about that? Then one day when it got rough, don't seem like I see nobody but one. Mine. He said, son, what, what you talking about? Don't you know that's when I was carrying you? Are y'all hearing what? Those little simple things, the reason they touch people hard because it's based upon the wisdom and knowledge which cometh from God's word. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm about to, I'm trying to stop anyway. Now listen, listen, listen. 27 verse. And he that searches the heart. So I don't, the heart, I mean all mankind, knoweth what is the mind of the spirit. In other words, God wants that because what did he tell us our body is? The temple for the Holy Spirit. I sent you a comforter. I want to talk to that comforter. You need to let that spirit man on the inside be in control with full favor from God. Then you'll make it. Didn't say every time you're going to have a good day, but no matter what the day is, God's going to see you through it. He didn't cause all things, but he'll cause all things to work together for good for them that love him and is called according to his purpose. Because he maketh intercession for the saints. But how does he make that intercession? According to what? The will of God. Not what you want to do. Not what your friend want to do. I don't care how much they, hey, if God set it out, and remember, you guys elect, he can interfere in your life. So ain't nothing you can do about it. You got to go along with what he say. And, and now listen, listen. This is one of these verses. Everybody quoted. But what is that verse really saying? We have favor with God. And we know. I mean, that's certain thing you know. That things work together for good. You ought to know that. To them that love the love God. To them who are the call specific according to his purpose. Meaning those gifts like we read, if you if you get into what is it, Matthew 25, 21, and 23, just read it. You want to come into the glory of thy Lord. It's personal. Lord have mercy. Work together for good according to his purpose. 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to what? To be conformed to the image of his son. That's favor. Oh, you don't understand that. That's favor. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. See, when you operate in the favor of God, I operate in the favor of God, and we all get together and we operate. Ooh, there ain't nothing we can't do. Lord have mercy. I don't think I'm, he gives us power. You shall. Didn't say Mike, did it? Receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. When, when I stand at the door and I knock and you let me in and we sit down and sit together. Why do we need, why do you settle a lot of your problems at home? You're over the dining table, over some way, a mole, a deal's been cut in man's over the dinner table. All that stuff, the etymology of it, you sort it out. When you're talking with wisdom, Lord have mercy. Uh, if you read Proverbs 8, even God had to talk with wisdom. Y'all don't hear nobody, okay? Confirm to the image of his son that he might be the first. Fruit. Moreover, whom he did predestinate. Them he also called, and whom he called, 
them he also justified. Favor. Just as if we never done anything wrong. How can you help but call that favor? There's some folks in here, including myself, probably done, done something we already thought something and did everything. We ain't got no business thinking that way, but I'm sorry we do it. See, we have to watch it. Yeah, I'm, I love my wife. Sometimes I see somebody on television. Wow, that's a good looking woman. I can admire that woman, but I can't act on it. That's when you get in trouble. And when my mind keeps drifting to that, I know I got to check myself. That's just, that's just common sense. And who, cause my wife her name, okay. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Glorified, past tense. In the first earth age, we told you about, you've already earned that crown, you already earned that favor. All you have to do is operate in it. What shall we then say to these things? And I'm going to stop there. I ain't finished. If God be for us, favor. <laughs> I said, if God be for us, what the book say? Who can be against us? Question. That's favor. <laughs> it's just as simple as it's favor. If God be for us, who can be against us? Do you, do you grab the scope of that? Lord, have mercy. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. We ain't going to get out of here today. Thank you, Father. I ain't finished on it. I got a few more things, Lord. This is a lot sweeter if you let it sink in, absorb it. We got to quit walking around here scared to death. God is in total control in the ugliest situation. He doesn't like some of the things that we do, but he loves us. And that's why he said, for God so loved the world that he gave. Absolutely, that's faith. But Father God, again, once we thank you for your many blessings. All I can say, Father, I told him what thus said the Lord. I hope it falls on good ground. That we began to operate under the understanding which gives us a favor and life. That if God be for us. Who can be against you? Why? Because, Father, you are the cardio note. You change Pharaoh's mind, you still in the mind changing business. You can't hurt one of God's elect. You told us if we read your word in Luke, the 10th chapter, around the 18th, 19th verse, that you've given us power over all the enemy. And I'm paraphrasing, Father. They can no wise hurt us because you saw him fall as lightning, meaning he, he coming down with foolishness. Because in your word, he said, is this the man going to Lucifer who just befuddled the whole earth? Got folks hooked up on his agenda. We have the right to believe whatever we want to. Even that's faith. But God would ask us, and he gave us a shining example in Yahshua, which is the same as Yeshua. As far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We all say that with me. As far as me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. God bless and keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.